What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to download custom texture packs on your iOS device. So first thing you're going to have to do is get a computer. Obviously, this is for a computer. And you need to ch get your USB cable, plug get it into your device, and then plug it into your laptop. So I'm going to go do that right now. So once you do that, you have to download iTunes. I will be using iTunes for this tutorial. There are other tutorials out there, but I'm just going to be using iTunes. So what happens is when you plug it in, basically, you mine makes a bunch of noises and all that good stuff. But it connects your device to the computer. So then once it does that, you can open up iTunes. Mine automatically opens up, but it's going to probably take it a little bit right now. And then we'll get, oh, there it is. So iTunes opens up. You're going to have to wait for it to load up here. It will say something like, uh, uh, well, I got an update, so that's kind of unfortunate. But up here, it will say waiting to sync iPad to uh, the computer. This is basically just connecting the iPad to the computer. This will take up to maybe two minutes at the most. So I will cut right back once it is ready. All right, guys, once it downloads, as you guys can see, it has finally finished. You want to come over here to where it has this little device icon. You want to click on that. And then what it is, it'll show you everything over here. So then you want to scroll down. Oh, wait, sorry, my bad. You, you want to go into apps over here, and then you want to scroll down. So you scroll down, and you'll see your Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, what you want to do is you want to click it. You only need to click it once, and then you'll see a games folder. Now, with that games folder, what you're going to do is you're going to click it. You're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you're going to click save to. Now, you can save it anywhere you want, but to make this simple, we're just going to save it to the desktop, and you don't need to name it because it already has a name. So you just select the folder. So then once you do that, You'll see up here, it's going to start saying that it's going to copy the files. And yet again, it's going to take up to two minutes to copy the files, but it will copy them. So don't worry, be patient. The more texture packs you download, the longer it's going to take. So mine's probably going to take up to three minutes and mine hasn't even started yet. It sometimes takes a little while for it to like begin, but then it will begin and it'll take up to three minutes or even more. If you have like 10 texture packs download, it'll take a good amount of time. Also depends on your Wi-Fi speed, your computer speed, and all that. So, as you can see, it's saying copying one of one. Now, if it says copying like two of two or like one of three or something like that, you did something wrong. It needs to say copying one of one. But anyways, guys, I will cut right here until it finally downloads. But once it starts copying like there, you can see that down here, it is right there. It's not done yet, so you have to wait until this thing finishes. But once it finishes, it will be complete. Alright guys, once that downloads, it will be wherever it should be on your desktop somewhere, so go find it. So what you're going to want to do after you get your games folder on your desktop is you're going to want to find a texture pack. So just go, you can go on multiple links, I'll put them in the description below. You can go on MCP Hub, you can go on MCP Universe, you can just look one up on YouTube or just look one up online. I'm going to go find a texture pack and we're going to go download it. Okay guys, once you find the download that or the texture pack that you want to find, you're going to want to click download. If it's Media Fire, it'll look exactly like this. If not, um, you know, it doesn't really matter. But uh, what you want to do is you want to save it to anywhere where you're going to find it. So you can save it to your desktop, um, which I'm going to do. And you can name it whatever you want. You can literally name it whatever you want. And then just click save. So for this, just to show you guys how easy it is, just save it to your desktop. It's super easy. And it just downloads right here. So then we can exit out of here. You do not I need to go on to Chrome or anything again and then what you want to do is find it so mine's right here so the number one thing you want to do is you want to click it and you want to click on the uh, like the little folder thing and you want to make sure it has this right here you want to make sure it has resource.json if it doesn't have resource.json the texture pack will not work so you, should, you might as well delete it now but uh, like before you continue doing any more of the steps but if it does have the resource.json like it does, what you're going to want to do is go into your games folder. Now, this part's very crucial. So you're going to want to go into your games folder. Oh, God. All right. So you want to go into your games folder and you want to go to com.mojang. Then you want to go into resource packs. And then in your resource packs, you want to create a new folder. So you right click and you click new. If you're on a Windows, if you're on a Mac, this will not work. So basically... Click new folder. You can title the folder whatever you want. I usually title it like uh, like whatever the uh, whatever it actually is. So like simple craft. I'm gonna title that simple craft. And then you just click off of air. Click enter. So then what you want to do is you want to double click it, and it'll be an empty folder. So what you want to do is you want to go into the thing you just downloaded. You want to double click that. You want to open up the folder like so and you want to click in the middle right here and then drag up so you get images models and anything in between there you click you left click on it 
you click and hold and you drag into here. So then you let go. Now it should be doing some stuff over here. It should be like doing some crazy stuff like that. And then it should all copy into here. Once it copied in there, you no longer need this. So you can get rid of that and you can also X out of this. So now you have when you go into came, uh, when you go into your folder, you've got common Mojang resource packs, and you've got simple craft right here, and you've got all this stuff here. So now what you want to do is you want to click this, and you want to drag it into here, into this little area on iTunes. And then when it says, "Do you want to replace it?" just click replace. Now here it just replaced it now it's gonna say something up here uh, remember back when we first logged into it how I said it was syncing it up or copying and stuff it's gonna say it again it's just gonna be saying copying and then it, it takes it a while especially if you have a lot of texture packs or if you added a bunch of texture packs at one time it's gonna take a little bit uh, but it will pop up um, I'll just speed right through it so you guys can see that I'm not gonna like cheat you guys out on anything and all that but I will catch you guys once it finishes copying Okay guys, as you guys can see, it has finished uh, downloading and all that. Usually, I don't know, not everybody has this, but I have a done button right here, so I just click done, and then we are all set to go. So then what you can do is you can exit out of everything that you have done. You can even delete this if you want. I tend to keep it, uh, and you can delete this. You no longer need that as well, and you're pretty much set, guys. All you guys need to do now is go into Minecraft Pocket Edition. My screen recorder broke, so I cannot actually show you guys. Uh, actually, I'll try to show you guys the texture pack. I'll put some pictures on the screen right now just so you guys can believe me. And yeah, so the texture pack should be downloaded. If it isn't, try rewatching, try doing some other steps. Obviously, it's different for every single computer, especially if you don't have WinRAR. If you have a different kind of file thing, it's going to obviously be a little bit different. If you're on a different Windows than them, I'm on Windows 7. If you guys are on like Windows 10, Windows 8, it's going to be a little bit different, guys. I showed you guys the general idea of how you're supposed to download a texture pack or how you can download a texture pack texture pack using iTunes. There are hundreds of other applications out there that you can use. You can use like iExplorer and all that. You can also jailbreak your device and get a texture pack very simply just on your device. If you have an Android device, obviously you wouldn't be watching the video, but if you have an Android device, you can just do all the steps I just did on your Android without a root, without anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was uh, not necessarily entertaining, but hopefully it like, you know, taught you guys how to get texture packs. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment as well. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any like ideas on what I can do to make this a little bit better. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great time downloading and using texture packs. And as always, guys, have a safe and enjoyable day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.